happens tonight. Two bucks is now closed. These are protests outside the Milwaukee bar just last night. The corporate office revoked its franchise license after accusations that the bar's owner was racist. 12 News Terry Sater is live at North and Murray Avenues tonight. Terry, you spoke to the chief operating officer of Two Bucks just a little while ago. And, Craig, it looks very different out here tonight. If we look across the street right now, our viewers can see there are no lights on at Two Bucks. The woman who used Facebook to speak out against allegations of racism on the part of the franchise owner says it had been one of her favorite places. But on Friday night, a Two Bucks bouncer said he was forced to ask African-American customers to leave who had done nothing wrong. Word got out, and that's when disgruntled workers and customers connected on Facebook, prompting a protest from the Coalition for Justice last night. The chief operating officer for the company says they've ordered the franchise owner to stop doing business. Sorrow and disbelief, uh, and then that, you know, evolved into what is heartbreak today for us. The allegations certainly don't um, reflect the foundation we were built on. And we're back live. The franchise CEO says he's going to talk with the city about next steps. He hasn't ruled out the possibility that someone else might buy the franchise, and it could reopen. Coming up in our next half hour, you'll hear from the woman who started that fa Facebook campaign against the bar what she thinks should happen next. Live in Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN, 12 News.